this might not be the largest, most powerful, or most stylish eagle in the world, but they get the job done. This is nature at its best right here. Yeah, he just stole it. This is the bald eagle. Hi, my name is Aranya Iyer, and you're watching Animal Logic's World of Birds. Right behind me is a bald eagle. Bald eagles have had a tough time on the internet as of late. Compared to the massive size of the harpy, wedge-tailed, Philippine, and stellar sea eagles, bald eagles are pretty small. The largest bald eagle is only about as heavy as the smallest harpy eagle. But that doesn't mean these fierce predators are simply upgraded pigeons. No offense, pigeons. The bald eagle's wingspan is still huge. It's about two meters, and it's on par with even the biggest eagles. I mean, look at him. Does he look small to you? You will not like this guy when he's angry. The bald eagle is a species in the genus Haliatus, also known as the sea or fish eagles. These eagles rule the shoreline with an iron talon. But all of them live exclusively in Canada, northern Mexico, and of course, the United States. The northern birds mostly migrate south in the winter, although some have been known to winter in British Columbia for the annual salmon run. Being birds of prey, these birds will take whatever they can get to eat, but their favorite food is fish. Isn't that right? While typically a solitary bird, during the salmon run in the fall, bald eagles gather in massive groups to take advantage of the plenty. The trees quickly fill up with eagles, and real estate along the shoreline is hotly contested. Only the biggest eagles can maintain their prime fishing spots. But even these goliaths face challengers now and again. Battles can be life or death. Their love of fish is the main reason bald eagles like to make their nests near large bodies of open water, like the ocean coast, marshes, lakes, or riverbeds. If there's fish in that water, it'll do. Despite being birds of prey, these eagles are largely kleptoparasitic. But I'll let Danielle tell you a little bit more about that, since she got to experience that behavior firsthand. Despite being America's ultimate symbol of power and freedom, the bald eagle is actually a kleptoparasite, stealing most of its meals from other hardworking animals. Yeah, he just stole it. Ah. It is absolutely wild out here. I just witnessed a bald eagle dive into the water and steal a fish from a sea lion and fly right over my head. Easy as that. He's pursued by a whole group of gulls. This is nature at its best, right here. Thanks, Danielle. Bald eagles like to nest in old-growth coniferous or hardwood trees. The perfect nest is near water, has a great view, is 20 meters above ground, and has enough shelter and coverage from nearby trees. They can also build their nests in swamps, on the shoreline, in pinelands, or even in lone tall trees in the prairies. And although they do their best to avoid humans, they have been found in large cities like Portland and Vancouver. 
one family of eagles even nested in the middle of Harlem, New York in 2010. Hey, I'm squawking here. A bald eagle's nest is huge, bigger than any other birds in North America. They're typically two to three meters in both height and diameter. The largest known nest made by any animal ever was the work of a very industrious bald eagle. It was four meters deep, two and a half meters across, and it weighed a ton, a literal ton. Bald eagles get their name from their distinctive look. First, there's the white crown. The eagle actually got its name because white-headed was an old-fashioned way of calling someone bald. The rest of their plumage is mainly brown with some white accents here and there. The eagle has striking yellow eyes, yellow feet, and a sharp yellow beak. Not since Severus Snape has there been such an iconic hook schnoz. Yikes! Throw in the fact that they look like they're wearing shorts, because their feathers don't completely cover their legs. And you've got yourself a very fashionable national bird. But why is the eagle the symbol of American patriotism? After the United States became its own nation in 1776, the nation's founding fathers chose an eagle for their seal and emblem because it had always been associated with strength, independence, and authority. It didn't hurt that the ancient Romans had also used eagles as their symbol. And since the new Americans liked to compare themselves to the great and powerful Roman Empire, the bald eagle was a perfect fit. Making it even better is the fact that bald eagles are native only to North America. The bald eagle has a reputation of strength for a reason. These powerful flyers use thermal convection currents to soar through the air, reaching speeds of 50 to 70 kilometers an hour when gliding, and 120 to 160 kilometers an hour while diving. Speed comes in handy when you're hunting. These ferocious flyers are fast and furious. Their excellent eyesight also helps Experts estimate that their vision is about eight times better than humans. They don't call it eagle eye for nothing. To catch fish, bald eagles watch the water from their perch or while soaring above in the sky. When they spot lunch, they quickly swoop down to the water and drop their feet right in to grab the fish. Their long talons are curved and razor sharp perfectly designed to catch and hold their prey. This is wild. Rough, bumpy calluses on their toes also help them keep their grip on slippery, wiggly fish. So we know all about hunting, but what about mating? When a bald eagle is ready to breed, they'll often head back to where they were born. To court other eagles, they'll chase and swoop around them. They may fly up very high, log talons with their paramour and do a free fall before finally separating just before hitting the ground. Intense, right? They take falling in love to a whole nother level. Right now we're in the natural habitat of the bald eagle and if we're lucky we'll be able to spot one. Bald eagles mate for life. And if they breed successfully, they will stick together and defend their one to two kilometer territory near water. The couple will usually build their nests and lay eggs in February, begin incubating in March, and the eggs will hatch in the late spring. Baby bald eagles are fuzzy and brown. As they grow up, their head will gradually get lighter. They won't have their parents' distinctive white head and yellow bill, until they're around five years old, which is also when they reach sexual maturity and can start breeding. The average lifespan of a wild bald eagle is around 20 years. Some common causes of death could be hunting, power line electrocutions, pesticides, human interference, and pollution. By the 1980s, the number of bald eagles in North America was getting dangerously low mostly because of a pesticide called DDT, which affected their ability to lay healthy eggs. But government regulations banning the pesticide helped the population recover. The bald eagle was taken off the endangered list in the 90s, 
and off the threatened category entirely in 2007. So keep on thriving, you stately stud, and do your best to leave some fishes for the rest of us. So what should we talk about next? Comment down below and don't forget to subscribe for new episodes every week. Keep soaring to new heights. Thanks for watching. See ya. So first one will be, hi, I'm Rainy Ayer. You're watching Animology's World of Birds. Eight times better than humans. Experts? No, start over again. Okay. Great. So we know all about hunting, but what about mating? Uh-oh. <sighs> hey, Kacha? No, he just flapped the feathers and whacked them right in my face. Oh, oh that hurt. Oh. Where is he? On the ground? Yeah. Okay. Give it a minute to pick it back up. <laughs>